paragliding off the graffiti sprayed towers in downtown Los Angeles. That is the latest story to come out of this unfinished project in downtown L.A. Today, L.A. Mayor Karen Bass said police will surround the site 24-7 as the city continues to pressure the owner to clean up and secure it. NBC4's Alex Rozier has the latest. Shocking video shared on Instagram appears to show someone paragliding from these unfinished towers downtown Los Angeles. The same unfinished towers that are also now tagged with nearly 30 floors of graffiti. Putting that graffiti up there that high is very, very dangerous. Los Angeles Mayor Karen Bass said LAPD will surround the site until the developer secures it. We don't have any choice but to do that because people being in that building is extremely dangerous. The owner of the building should be held accountable and he should reimburse the city for every dime that is spent. Construction here halted in 2019 when the Chinese developers ran out of money. They were building Oceanwide Plaza with condos, a mall and hotel. But since work stopped, it's become an attraction for graffiti artists. Somebody's got to come in and buy the property and uh, finish the project or tear it down. One or the other. Those are the only two options. On Friday, the L.A. City Council ordered the owner to secure the site and clean it up, or the city will do it and send them the bill. Pretty Council nice. member Kevin DeLeon said the owners have until February 17th to comply. We passed this on Friday. Just on Saturday evening, LAPD arrested seven individuals. Uh, early Sunday morning, they arrested another five individuals. But we're going to use the full weight of the law in the city of LA to force them to clean up their mess. Does anyone at City Hall think it's likely that this developer who ran out of money in 2019 is going to come back and secure this site? No, I'm going to be honest with you. You know, I'm not holding my breath right now that they're going to come in and take responsibility for their irresponsible actions. But that doesn't mean we cannot continue uh, putting the pressure on them. De Leon said the long term plan is to find a group of investors to take over this project on this prime land in Los Angeles. I'm Alex Rozier, NBC4 News.